Argershik was born in Wuj in 1894. Recognizing his talent at a very young age, Schick's father sent him to Paris to study. He forged his own path. There is no one who does work anything remotely like Schick. What Arthur Schick shows is a way to draw on the history of art and how to give them contemporary meaning while using a visual language full of historical reference. We can see his interest in relations, Polish-Jewish relations, Polish-American relations, American-Israel relations, and he expresses these interests in the work that he has done on these founding documents, on these legal documents, and on these charters. He protested totalitarianism, fascism. He protested the, the lack of response to the genocide that was going on in Europe. And he shows ways in which an artist can be an effective activist in periods of extreme political conflict. His protest imagery circulated probably more widely than any single artist during the World War II period.